everybody, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new tutorial. Today I'm featuring the Doodlebug Halloween Collection. And I'm going to show you how I use these products to create a fun and festive Halloween envelope. To begin, I'm going to start by creating some masks because I'm going to be doing a lot of one layer work on this envelope since we'll want to mail this later. I'm going to start by die cutting the Simon Says Stamp grassy borders onto a piece of Gina K Designs masking magic paper. And I did die cut this twice in one big line so that I had an extra long piece to mask along the border of my envelope. Now make sure you save the negative portion of this mask because we will use it later. For now I'm going to go ahead and put the grass itself right down onto the envelope and arrange my stamps along the bottom of that envelope where I'm going to want them to be. I'm stamping with Simon's Stamp Intense Black Ink inside my Misty Stamping Tool so that way I can make sure I get a really nice crisp black impression and I can always re-stamp if I don't stamp it correctly the first time. I'm making sure my masks are also pressed down really really well before stamping so that way I don't have any of them curl up as I work later. Bringing in another piece of masking paper I'm going to create some masks of these stamped images. I'm just using the leftover ink that's on these images and pressing that down onto the masking magic paper and that gives me just enough of an impression to help me cut out these images. And because these are going to be masking off the images around the blending that I'll add over top, I'm going to make sure I cut up right against the lines of the image. That way I don't end up with a white halo around anything. I'll arrange the masks over top of my stamped images very carefully and then I can work on some blending. For my envelope, I've chosen a few blues and a purple of Distress Oxide ink, and these are going to blend across my card, creating a really cool night scene. I chose Broken China for the lightest color because this is going to give me that nice blue tone, but at the same time, it's going to create a golden cast, especially around the images. I'm making sure to keep the lightest portion of this blending around the candy cart and the little witch. After the blending was completed for the sky, I'll bring in that negative mask that I mentioned earlier and I'll attach that along the other end of my masked off grass so that way I can use some green Distress Oxide ink to just blend in some of that color. And that'll help me create a nice seamless transition between these two pieces. Now we can work on coloring. I used Copic markers for all of my coloring today and I did a very simple coloring scheme that is very much inspired by the colored papers that are in the Doodlebug Halloween collection. So when you're coloring something and you're using a collection like this Doodlebug Halloween collection, make sure you try to use colors that are already in the collection as a guide for picking out the colors you want to use to color your stamped images. It really makes a difference later. There are coordinating dies for this fun stamp set if you do want to get them. I really love having dies for stamped images because it makes cutting them out so easy. But in this particular tutorial, we aren't going to need them today. Once all of my coloring was finished, I brought in some water and I'm splattering that across the sky to create just a little bit of texture and interest. This really makes the blending look really spectacular. I'll lift off those water droplets with a paper towel revealing that fun oxidized background. The Doodlebug Halloween collection has some fun star sprinkles and I'm going to stick these into the background for that really fun multicolored star effect. And to enhance those stars, I'm also going to bring in a white pen. This pen is going to create little dots of stars, so to speak, in the background. It really helps fill in the sky and creates some really nice interest. And I'll also add that same coloring that I did on the front side of the envelope. I'm also going to add that same night sky background to the back flap just to give a cohesive look. Now we're going to work on creating some embellishment on the inside of the envelope. Yes, we can add some fun color and pattern to that as well. Using the Doodlebug pattern paper here, I'm going to pick out a color that I really liked with this envelope and I'm going to die cut it from the Simon Says Stamp envelope liner die set. This die creates the pieces you need to create a fun liner that goes inside of the envelope. It's a really unique way to add some interest to your card. Now this die cuts everything in almost one piece and for my ease of use, I just like snipping them both apart. It makes it easier to attach two pieces at a time 
rather than one single piece all at once. But you can attach it however it works for you. So I'll attach the largest rectangle inside of the envelope first, and then I'll bring in the other piece and attach that along the flap. And I'll use just some Gina K dot runner to adhere that down. I always love adding a little bit of washi tape to my envelopes. So I'm bringing in this fun candy striped washi tape and adding that onto my envelope to close it up. Finally, I need to add a stamp. And right now there are some great postage stamps from the Postal Service of Halloween imagery. And these are really fun colors that work really well with this Doodlebug collection. And one of the really cool things about these is that they're like a holographic effect. It's very fun. So I'm gonna use this orange one here of the ghosts in the corner of my envelopes. That way I can go ahead and add the address in that blank area to the right of the candy cart and the little witch. And that way I can mail this to somebody with a fun Halloween surprise. Making an envelope for Halloween is so much fun because you could do all sorts of things with this. Instead of giving out candy, you could put some fun treats or a gift card in here or you could put a fun card that you made that coordinates with the envelope inside as well and mail that off to a friend who loves Halloween. Either way, I hope this inspires you to create some fun envelopes for Halloween too using the Doodlebug Halloween release. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Be sure to stop back soon for more inspiration, but until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.